everyone and welcome to Dip In Kitchen. This is so exciting because this is my first video, official video from Dip In Kitchen. I'm going to be making a recipe um, of halva, so suji halva. So when we start something, we always start something new in God's name. That's really important. So I am making suji halva as prasad or offering as a blessing to God. And then of course we can share and eat it all together. So let's get started, suji halva. Okay, so to begin with, let's switch on our heat. That sounds so good in my new kitchen. We need some butter. So let's go in with a nice block of butter there, which we're just going to melt. Now, I have done suji halva before, um, but this, like I said, is a special one because it's my first actually dish I'm cooking from Dippin Kitchen and I hope you guys like it. I've had so much great feedback so thank you so much for all your support and everyone's uh, blessing and kind words. So let's give this butter now a few minutes just to melt. Uh, in the meanwhile let's get the water for the whole bar into here and with the water I'm going to also get the sugar in. This is not like my old work, actually my mum's worktop, which doesn't really make much noise. This one does a little bit. Hey, learning things all the time. Okay, so, right, is this the right one? Yeah, okay, good. Right, I'm gonna put that on a high heat, just give that a mix. So in one saucepan, we've got the water and the sugar. And in this saucepan, we've got the butter, which is almost actually melted. Okay, we have some lovely melted butter there, and now in with our coarse semolina, like so, giving that a mix. Now, the semolina and butter do take a good five to six minutes on a medium heat to really cook out properly. My dad always says when you start to smell that buttery smell releasing, you then know your semolina is cooked to perfection. So we're going to wait for that semi to go nice and golden, by which time my water and sugar would have boiled um, as well. So let's give that a few minutes. Okay, I have some beautiful golden semolina, which is now ready. It's released the buttery smell. The water is just about boiling. And now let's get ready. Right, don't get scared of this way, guys. So and all that water is just going in there. So the sugar and water has gone in. And now what you're doing is just really carefully, you can put this on a low heat now, is mixing and this will begin to thicken up. What I can tell you about Dipping Kitchen is that the burners are really fast and fierce, which is, as you know, just the way I like to cook. Dipna does everything really quick. So that theme is still going on, which is great. Right, now this is gonna take about two or three minutes just to thicken up, and then we can do the exciting bit, dishing up. You can see now, I put my sleeves down by the way, because this does uh, start to spit, so just for safety, put your sleeves down. Um, but you wanna keep mixing this as it thickens, and you can see now, it's starting to leave the edges of the saucepan, telling me this is cooked perfectly. Just another few seconds and using all that muscle in your arm for it to thicken up. This is actually done. It's left the edges of the saucepan just as I want it to. There you are. You have suji halva, the first dish to bless the new dip in kitchen. Right, let's play up. Okay, and here you have it. Suji halva in my new dip in kitchen, the first dish. Right, offering and blessings. That is delicious. I hope you've all enjoyed that. Thanks for helping me bless Dipping Kitchen. Ganpati Papa Moria. See you soon. Bye bye.